What's up guys? I'm a truck guy and unfortunately the time has come to trade in my current truck Sierra. Um, I love this truck. I've had a lot of fun with it. I've seen it in a couple videos either towing the snowmobile trailer or 4th of July shenanigans. So, but it's time. I'm going to put her back to stock. Chris is over there helping me with my grill, putting that back in. And uh, yeah, let's get to it and uh, go pick up the new one. Taking her dress shoes off, putting the ugly stockies back on. She's in burnout mode right now when it's set up like this. Got a Denali grill if anybody wants one. That's seller. I don't need it for my new one. Needs a little bit of waxing and cleaning, but other than that, it'll clean up. I got my master mechanic hard at work over here. Don't mind me, just gluing. Just gluing the emblem back in. Glue my life together. <laughs> when I took the stock emblem out, I had to put it in that one. And now it's got to go back in the stock one, so Chris is doing that for me. Well, it's time. My last little cruise in Sierra the Sierra. Um, on my way to the dealership now to pick up my new daily. It was a good truck. I liked it. I got it looking good. It rode nice on the big wheels. This 5.3 was peppy. It was a good truck. I really liked it. Uh, I had a couple little corks along the way, but nothing too terrible. But I love this truck. And I think, you know, the new one, I'll warm up to it. I'll get into it. You know, I got to put my little touches on it. Obviously, I put my wheels on it, some tints, you know. I'll make it my own in time, and I'm sure I'll fall in love with that one. But that's what sucks about, you know, I do, I do the least things. So that's what sucks about turning them in every few years. You just, you got to send them on their way. So the time has come. We're not too far from the dealership, and then uh, I'll be letting you guys know what I'm getting. When you give me a 30,000 mile lease, I'm gonna use damn near every one of them miles. <laughs> it's been real, Sierra. <sighs> Here it is, guys. The new Turbo Daily Driver. And that's right, I said Turbo, and it is a Silverado. I'm a truck guy. I'm always gonna stick with trucks. Um, I went with the 2.7 liter. It's a four cylinder, but I'm not just saying this. This truck is actually pretty impressive for what it is. Gets out of its own way, fun four wheel drive launches, and it passes the burnout test. <laughs> Thirty-nine miles. What do you do as soon as you buy something? We'll see if it'll burn out in a second. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it does, and actually, I I think it does better burnouts than the VA truck did. It'll let you put it in second gear, which my last truck wouldn't let me do that with the thumb. So this thing likes to party. Um, I went with this truck for a couple reasons. One, I never had a black truck. Two, I wanted all the bells and whistles. This thing's got everything, heated steering wheel, heated seats, it's got all the gadgets, all the backup cameras, brake controller. I got my levers galore in this thing. <laughs> Cause every now and then I do tow cars or demo cars when I do the demolition derbies or crash ramas with me and Chris. So that was another thing. Um, I'm a little concerned to see how it's gonna feel with the 24s on it, cause those wheels are heavy. If you never put big wheels on a vehicle, it slows them down a lot. So I'm interested to see how the 2.7 liter handles that. And then of course, when I have a trailer on the back. So these are all things that we will find out in due time. Due time. Um, I work almost 40 minutes away from home. So the 2.7 liter wasn't that bad. And just being honest, the truck market is a mess right now. Used, new, it's insane. Everything's expensive just because of the chip shortage. And it's just basic supply and demand. I'm not gonna give you guys an economics class, but it's just supply and demand. So this truck was in my price range. It had all the bells and whistles besides the fancy V8 that I really wanted. And I'm a V8 guy through and through. But after I drove it and pounded on it, I realized it's not that bad. It's actually pretty impressive. So I'm gonna put my touches on it, put some wheels on it, paint, paint the brake calipers red, and uh, slowly give you guys updates at the end of all of our videos, just like, hey, a little uh, Silverado update. So that's the plans for it. Love the truck, I'm ecstatic with it. That pretty much does it, guys. Um, like I said, follow along for a little progress. I'm going to try to get a couple races with this truck before I put the big wheels on it and stuff, just so we can see some comparisons of how this truck actually performs. Will it do a burnout with 24s on it? I will try that. 
after what I've seen today, I think it would. I don't think it'll be extravagant. I, I don't think it's impressed. gonna bang in a second, but I think it will do it. I'm proud of this truck, and I was so nervous with the 2.7 liter, but after I drove it, and after the little beat down session, I'm happy with this truck. So like and subscribe. Hopefully you guys are happy with our content and follow for more car content. Thank you guys. I know you're good. All right, let's see now how it leaves. An all wheel drive, full boost. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, I fucked up the thumb shift, but wow. It actually puts you back in your seat kind of wow, good. And this is coming from a closed-minded V8 guy. That wasn't that bad. That felt kind of peppy. We'll have eighth mile times on this eventually.